Okay, today we're going to be making some laundry detergent, laundry soap made out of coconut oil. This is my coconut oil, and I've measured out 16 ounces of it. This is my recipe right here. It comes from SoapCalc.com, from their calculator. And I've calculated a 0% super fat. I'm using 38% um, water, 38% water as percentage of the oil weight. Um, so I've got 6.08 ounces of water, which is back here. And then I have 2.93 ounces of lye, which is here. And then we have 16 ounces of coconut oil, which is here. Okay, I've already melted the coconut oil. Um, I also have a half an ounce of um, fragrance oil that I'm going to add. It's lemon scented for nice fresh scented um, laundry detergent. And if you stay tuned, I'll show you some other ways that you can use this homemade soap. Uh, to make a whipped laundry butter type product. Um, this is a Pringles can. You can use any kind of container you have at home except for something that's aluminum and uh, something that's that's like a milk carton that's rinsed out or a Pringles container you can just rip off. As a backup, in case I have too much soap, I'm using a, a laundry stain stick type mold. I got this from Michaels or AC Moore. I think it was Michaels. Um, and I'm going to pour any extras into this and it makes a convenient little stick for removing stains. The reason why we have 0% super fat is so that we don't have any extra oil. We have just enough lye to match up the amount of oil that we have so that you're not adding oil to your clothing when you wash it, but rather removing oil and stains. First step is to take the lye and add it to the water. So I have my gloves on. You should have um, long sleeves if possible and goggles on work in a well ventilated area. Sometimes I do this and turn on the vent over top of my stove or open up a window, um, get as much out as you can. And I always do this, I prefer to do this when the kids are already asleep, keep animals and pets away. Um, lye is, is something you need to work with carefully because the solution is hot and caustic. It will burn your skin. Vinegar will help um, cut the baseness, the, the danger of it a little bit. If you can see, this is, is steaming up, so you don't want to inhale any of that. The solution's gotten really hot, so I'm working with my head tilted away from it, and often I'll get it so it's just mixed, and then I will let it sit, and I'll go open a window, but I won't leave it very far, so I'll keep it so that there's no kids, no pets come into the room. The kitchen is off limits, and uh, I'll open a window and come back in about 10 minutes, okay? Okay, true confessions. We mixed up a batch of coconut oil soap and poured it into the Pringles container and then discovered that the camera glitched and it didn't work. So this is the coconut oil soap that I made with the previous batch and we're going to now make again so you can see the end result. Um, it filled it up about to here and this here is going through gel stage down below. If you can see it, it's very wet, it's very hot and it's doing just fine. So coconut oil soap gets really hot um, and it goes through gel phase while it saponifies and it'll be ready to use soon. So we're going to mix up. This is the lye solution, a new lye solution with 12 ounces of uh, 16 ounces of coconut oil melted here. Uh, I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but when you're mixing up your lye solution, you always put the lye into the water and not the water into the lye. Somebody said once you s it snows over the lake. So you put the snow or the lye into the water solution. I'm trying to mix this with a um, whisk, stainless steel whisk. Thinking that some people may not have a stick blender that they want to use, especially when they're first starting out. If you want to continue working like this and whisking, it's probably going to take 10 minutes of mixing in order for it to all mix together and saponify. Um, and it's a lot faster if you use a stick blender, which I'm going to switch to in a little bit. But I figured I'd start a little bit, <clears throat> let you see what happens. You're not going to see much of a change for a while. The solution does get hotter because of the chemical reaction between the lye and the coconut oil. And we're going to pour these into the stain stick container. And I think I'll have a little bit extra. All right, so I've been starting for a couple minutes. You're waiting until you see uh, it's thick like pudding and that it leaves a mark on the top of the oil, of the 
the mixture. Um, at this point, I see oil separating back out on the top. So let's switch over to the stick blender so you can see. You can continue like this, stirring it, but it is a lot faster if you use a stick blender. starting to get thick. <clears throat> you can see it's a little bit, this is probably uh, right before trace. I'm going to add my fragrance oil in. You could use essential oils if you like essential oils. Um, this is about a half an ounce. Hand slippery. Slide that in. Some fragrance oils uh, will make the soap seize up or move faster so you have to work quickly and know what you're working with. I figured that the the lemon flavor that I've got, fragrance oil that I added in, will be a nice addition to stain sticks or to um, laundry detergent that I'm going to make. So let me blend this a little bit more. And this right here, see how nice and thick that is? If you can catch it on the surface, see if you can get the camera to catch it on the surface. It leaves a, a mark on the surface of the soap. We should have more light for this video. So I think that's that's good enough that I could pour it. All right, there we go. That's like a thick pudding. You can kind of hear it. I like working on my stove because I can put this one here and then just clean it up in a little bit. So pouring these in, these make nice little stain sticks. This mold came from Michael's Craft Store. You can probably find them online also. And it makes a nice size, I think it's about two ounce uh, bar. Notice how thick this is getting really fast. Pour quickly. What looks like it's going to be almost perfect. This was a one pound batch of soap. Move some of this into this one. Seems to be working. them nice and full. Of course with this um, this size we use them for stain sticks or you can grind them up and use them to make laundry detergent either powdered laundry detergent or a liquid using uh, borax. I'd like to try showing you how to whip it up so that it makes a nice fluffy um, non gloppy snotty type of laundry detergent. But you can if you don't mind the find it's snotty gloppy looking. Uh, you can do that yourself also, but we don't like that kind around here. All right, um, stain sticks and a tube of it, of the 0% super fatted coconut oil laundry detergent, soap, homemade, the cold process method. Come back soon and we will unveil them. Okay, it's the next day, and I want to show you what we have here. We'll try to do some unmolding. This is the uh, Pringles can with the soap inside. It looks kind of loose in there, almost to the point where I could push it out, but I think the best bet is to try to rip it or cut it. Got it started with scissors. It had a, a plastic lining that I didn't put there. 
before it, it gets to the uh, glue in part. All right, there you have it. That's our, our laundry soap, coconut oil soap. It smells good. And these are the uh, stain sticks for removing stains, or you could grate them up and use them to make soap. Each one's about two ounces, I think. I'll measure it later. It might be two and a half ounces. These silicone molds are nice because the soaps come out really easily. The only problem I've had with them is that if you notice, this bulges a little bit. There's a little bit less flimsy, so they're not perfectly square, which is a little bit annoying if you really like things to be perfectly rectangular. But they're easy to pop out. When you're working with other soaps besides coconut oil soap, it's a little bit harder to get them out. So it's nice if you're starting out to use something like a Pringles can, shoebox, uh, something you can just rip apart, a milk carton. All right. Um, so what we have so far, nice bars to use removing stains. And we can grate this up to make a whipped laundry detergent. You could also use this to um, grate it up and then mix it with borax and washing soda to make a powdered detergent, um, though I prefer the whipped ones. All right, thanks for watching.